I started playing Roblox in 2008, and nothing in the virtual world has made me feel more worthless than uh, Roblox Limited. Growing up, I learned the effects capitalism can have on your self-worth and confidence through Roblox. Like, in my child mind, if I'm pulling up in a 15 Robux item, and this guy has a, uh, an item that sells for three and a half million, I'm gonna feel like I have to take orders from him. I don't feel equal. So that was cool. Uh, Roblox is kind of bringing, uh, these, or uh, they're called collectibles. Collectibles slash limiteds back. They're, they're bringing them back. I think they're making more things limited. Uh, I think the best thing to teach kids is, hey, get used to exclusivity. Get used to wanting things you can never have. I like that. That builds character. I saw a clip of Critical reacting to Roblox Limiteds and that whole market, and it made me want to go through my history and just look at the most expensive items and who who has them, who got banned with those items, how much are they truly worth. Back in the day, I did a little bit of trading myself. This trade was in 2012. This is a trade I did. Look, look how badly I got owned. This is what I gave. I gave a 14,000. He gave three and a half thousand. At the time, these were probably equal, but, uh, I mean, if he sat on these for 10 years, cool, you earned 10,000 Robux. I guess that's not that big of a deal. That's about a, a thousand Robux, uh, a year. You earned it at that point. All right, pretty even trade. This trade has aged well. I wanted the teddy bear hat. I was willing to give up my manliness for the little teddy bear hat. Um, absolutely owned this idiot. 4K, and I got 24K. Idiot. Owned again, buddy. Hide the usernames. I don't want any of these trades coming back to haunt me if I ever argued with any of the people I traded with. Whoa, no, I got owned! I got owned! 50,000 for 10,000! This is a real trade I did! That's hat so much cooler! Alright, whatever. This is actually with Jake, Jangji. At one point, he gave me 300,000 Robux worth of items, I guess. Which is like a thousand real life dollars now. I bet you regret that, Jake. Guys, go watch Jake's videos because he gambled all of his money away. Dude, look how badly I scammed this guy. I took an L when I traded this. But when I look, 147,000? The thing is, I traded this away later. So my life sucks. That's hundreds of dollars. There's one point where I gave away all my items. I gave away this for nothing. Gave away that. Gave away that. Gave away that. I later asked this guy for it back. And he actually gave me it back. We still keep in contact. Oh my god, why why did I give this away? Why did I give this away? I didn't even like this guy that much. <gasps> no! Why did I do this? What? I gave 1.2 for that! Why did I do this? 500,000 Robux, you could get 1.5 grand for that right now, I think. If you DevXed it. I remember Jake and I were doing that because we wanted matching these hats. This was 2014, and we were role-playing Naruto. We were above the age of where you should stop role-playing Naruto. Whoa! Why did I do that? Why did I, why did I do that? Oh my god. This used to be worth something. <laughs> why did I do- Shed Letsky was an employee of Roblox. Also, I owned him. He made like a bot to send out trades to people. I feel like that was kind of uh, weird to do. He wasn't the CEO of the company, but he was a higher up. He was like a figurehead of Roblox, just trying to trade kids and like uh, take their items kind of. He would send really one-sided trades where he got more money than you. I thought that was kind of weird. He did that as an adult to kids. <laughs> People get confused on this. With the high to low prices, they'll see a... Uh, Oi, laddie, one billion Robux. St. Patrick. No, that's just what some... <laughs> What's some little, uh, weasel price to add? That doesn't mean it's sold. You have to check this to see how much it's sold for. 300,000. Which is a lot. That's like a thousand real life dollars. But it's not three million Robux. It's not $3 million. None of these are selling, uh, for that much. They're still selling for a lot, though. Like, uh, I'll check the leaderboard. Let's see what everything sold at. Um, oh my god. This sold at 69 million Robux. Oh, that's like $300,000, I think, more than that. Like, real life, $300,000. What did it sell out before? 69 million back then, too? Okay, so the person who bought this for, I calculate, 240,000 real life dollars, it went to this person right here. 
So I looked them up and I went to their profile and um, I was like, who's going to spend 250,000 real life dollars on this? That's insane. Well, I couldn't help but notice they're not even wearing the hat. That costs you 250 grand. Do you not like how it looks now? So there's that. But then um, you look over there. Did they give the hat to this person? Sorry, girls. <laughs> Married to the money. Did they steal this from you and put this shirt on? On the website, it just says new owner. Unknown. So they had this item for like 10 days. Then just sent it off into the unknown. Uh, that's a little bit sketchy. Random person. $250,000. Unknown. And it just gets swept away. Very strange. So these items came out, like this one came out 13 years ago. I think only like 32 people were given them or only 32 people could buy them. Something like that, like 32, 26, so even less. What well, was 13 years, there's still only 26 available. You can see who owns them and you can also see the people that got terminated, like their accounts got banned while they owned this, which is now I guess an item that could sell for around $200,000. I doubt people are gonna pay more than what this person paid, but like that could have been them is what you're saying. <laughs> if they didn't get banned, they could have had $200,000. Who are you? What'd you get banned for? Look at all this stuff you had. Why'd you get banned? You lost so much money. Pretty much $52,000. It wouldn't be that much because they have to sell the item in Roblox for some reason. Takes a tax off of that. Knitted sweater got banned. Oh my god! You had a lot of expensive items too. We found out why he got banned. Known for being a major exploiter, he keylogged many players and created a fake Roblox app in 2011. Whoa! He was IP banned in 2011. If he just held on to those items, he would have been a... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, possibly a couple hundred thousand dollars richer. That must suck to look back at. With this one, 40 mil. That is insane. That's $140,000 almost. And look, almost all of them are terminated. What'd you guys do? You could have had so much money. Nobody would have really been able to guess these hats would go for so much if it was like a decade ago. Um, This one sold for 40 mil, 100 something thousand dollars. Joke Samuel reviews. Who is this noob? How do you get a hold of this? This. Why did you own this? This is called when the free Robux game actually worked. They probably scammed someone and sent it off to this uh, fake account to try to not get banned. Yeah, look at these sketchy noobs sending it to each other. And then it went to this guy. Who is this? Who are you? He's been terminated. It's so sketchy. Look, it's on his head. He died wearing it. Yeah, that's it. We didn't really accomplish anything, but it was fun to look into the world of uh, how much people have lost. If they just saved that account from when they were a kid and not get banned, wait 10 years, just like a free college tuition some of these people would have gotten. So they get to think about that, and that's awful.